Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can assign random material to family items in Revit through Dynamo. So, I'm going to start with a family. I'm going to go with new. How about I just go with a generic one for today, metric generic model. Uh, maybe I can assign units uh, to be set on meters. Three decimal places, OK and OK. Uh, now in the front view, uh, I'm considering kind of a pattern to be repeated on a wall surface. Uh, I'm going to type RP for reference plane. I'm going to offset this plane maybe by two and a half meters. Uh, maybe I can move this a bit up. And I want to use RP again. Uh, I'll use another plane. I'll make another one. Now, I want to get dimension. DI is a shortcut for dimensions. I want to type EQ so they're equal. And I want to get the height. Now, this height, I want it to be kind of parametric. So I want to assign a parameter. I'm going to name it height. For now, I'm going to keep it on instance and OK. Uh, then on reference level, uh, I'm going to use RP again. I'm going to offset each of these planes by 10 centimeters, which is 0.1 over there, here, there, and here. Today, I'm going to use swept blend. I'll go with swept blend for the path, sketch the path. I want to sketch half of this uh, actual column. I want to consider only half of it. Then I want to go with Select Profile 1, Edit Profile, and I want to go to Reference Level. I'm going to draw a square here. OK. Then I'm going to go to my 3D view, or actually to my front view. I want to set pick a plane. I want to pick this plane, the one at the center. And I want to go back here. Now, I'm going to go with Select Profile 2, uh, Edit Profile, Open View. And again, I'm going to draw a square here. Then I'm going to select it. Hit Tab to select the whole four edges, then I'm going to rotate it by 45 degrees. Let's see it in 3D. That's exactly what I wanted. So I can click and click again. Now the column, half of it actually is done. Then in my front view, I want to select this, mirror it using this reference plane. Uh, if I put this unshaded, you can see it better. So maybe this is what I want to use as my module. OK. Uh, you know, this item is going to close in active views. Now I'm going to select the two parts. For the material, I actually want it to be a parameter. So I'm going to click here, click here, and I'm going to name this material. And I want to say it on instance so I can Manipulate it through Dynamo when it's an instance. OK, OK, this is going to be named Family 1 for now, or Family 2, that's OK. Load into project. I already have a project open. I can click here once. Uh, I want to use Array to have more of these columns. I want to not group them, so I'm going to remove the check mark for group. Maybe we have 20 of them. Uh, I'm going to click once here, click once here. Now I have 20 of those columns. If I go to shaded, this is how you see it actually. In a nice camera view, it's going to look very beautiful. So what I'm planning to have is a set of random colors assigned uh, to the columns. So I'm going to go to my material. Uh, I'm going to create new material. You can go with actual material. To be easy, I just want to go with three colors, yellow. On the appearance, I want to select yellow. On graphics, I want it to be 
the same as appearance so I can see it yellow in shaded view as well okay I'll make another one I'm gonna name it red appearance I want to go with a red color and I want to assign uh, the same color to the graphic uh, shaded mode then I want to make another one rename it as maybe blue I'm gonna go with blue under appearance and I want to check the box for use render appearance so I have made three colors but I have not assigned any material yet for that part, I'm going to take care of it in Dynamo. I'll go to Dynamo. Uh, I'm going to open a new file. So first, I'm going to select all those families. How? If I go to Revit menu, Selection, All Elements of Family Type, uh, I also have Family Type option here, which is a drop-down menu. I can select Family 2. That's the name of the family that I created. As soon as I connect it, you see that it's selected all our 10 families, those columns, and it knows them as elements. Uh, I can also count how many of them there is. If I just type count here, which is this item, which is also under the list menu, inspect, it's right here. So now I know that I have 20, right? Now, I want to assign material to them. I want to type material. We have an option which says by name. And you see, it reads a string node. A string is a set of letters. I'll go with a string, maybe three of them. I just created three materials. Uh, put the material name exactly as you spelled it here. If you had a capital at the beginning, I think that should be capital here too. How can I connect three items to one item? I need a list with three items. So all inputs can go to one node and that node can be connected to the material name. Uh, we know that we only have three materials. On the other hand, we know that we have 20 items. There is an item which is called cycle, a list cycle. So it's telling me how many of the object you have. Well, I have 20, so that goes here. And it's going to ask me what's the list of materials. So list goes there. This is my list of materials, which is only three. And it's going to right now arrange them here. Right now, how can I assign the material to my family? Uh, remember, in these families, I had assigned the material to be a parameter. So I can go with set parameter by name. So elements, which are the columns here, you see it says elements, can be connected to the element which is of the same nature. Parameter name should be exactly what you have here, which is material in this case. So I want to bring another string, right click a string, and it's going to be material. I had put the M as a capital letter, and the value of that is going to be this list. So see what happens as soon as I connect this list to the value here it assigned them one by one. So it goes with yellow, red, blue, yellow, red, blue, yellow, red, blue, and so on. Maybe that's what you wanted, but if you wanted the colors to be more random, you can shuffle the list. Even you can assign different seeds, uh, which means, for instance, if I assign an integer slider to the seed, assign the list here, and then assign the shuffled list to the value. Each time I change the seed, it's going to rearrange uh, the list in a new way and automatically it's going to assign those colors. Right Now, if you want more colors, you can just go to material, 
maybe I can create a green one. I'm gonna call this green. Uh, how about I go with a light green color? Use render appearance, okay. Then I'm gonna need another string here. It's gonna be green. I need to click here once so it will be added to my item 3. Now if I change the seed, each time it's going to rearrange the random values. If you don't want it random, you just want it in order, just directly connect the list and it's always going to go with the same order. Uh, finally, I'm just going to group uh, the stuff here. I always suggest that you group your nodes so it's easy to follow them later. So draw a window here, right click on top of the node, groups group. I want to name this material or plural materials. Uh, this is, these two nodes are responsible to read family from Revit. That's what they do. And the remaining here is for assigning material. So I'm going to group them. And I want to say assign material to family as a parameter. Okay, so this is the whole script that you need. Instead of colors, I could have assigned actual material, like different shades of wood, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much.